Today we're taking a look at the Adidas and Wales Bonnet collaboration. Whenever those two collaborate, it gets me so excited because she is a fashion designer. So I know that they're bringing the fashion into the sneaker. They did release some clothes, but alongside that, they released some sneakers. There was two silhouettes. So we have the SL76, which is what we have here today. And they did also release some Sambas as well. The SL76 did release in two colorways. We have the ash blue here today, and they also did release in a yellow pair as well. So in terms of boxing, we do get a special Adidas and Wells Bonner collaboration box. So as you can see, we have the Adidas and Wells Bonner collaboration logo there. And then we do have the three stripes as well. This is in just a standard black box. The box is quite narrow because they are quite narrow shoes. This is a pull-out box as well. Inside, we get given a little bit more than the usual, which I absolutely love. So we have this Adidas and Wells Bonner dust bag. It is very, very, very vibrant. We have the red and we have the green alongside in black. You do also get given some extra laces as well. So we have this beige pair of laces, which is always nice if you do want to switch things up, but we'll touch on that a little bit later. And then here we have the Ash Blue Adidas SL76 in all its glory. It kind of feels like a new silhouette for me because I haven't seen much of the Adidas SL76, even though it is not a new silhouette, it just feels like a new shoe to me, which is pretty exciting. So the inspiration behind the design of this silhouette is that it's inspired by running and it's supposed to celebrate the joy of movement. It does also have fashion elements, which I was hoping and expecting for because of that collaboration in some of the materials that is used, which we'll take a look at. Pretty much all of the upper is this ash blue shade, which is kind of like a baby blue. We do have a mix of materials for this SL76, which does make it very unique. On the toe box and near the laces and towards the back panel, we do have this kind of rough textured suede. This does contrast really nicely with another material, which as you can see here, we have this knitted mesh material. Again, these are both in that same kind of baby blue color. The knitted mesh, I'm an absolute huge fan of. This for me is where it's a bit more fashion than kind of sportswear, because obviously on a normal running shoe, you wouldn't get this knitted material. As for the three stripes, we do have this in the knitted. This is kind of a more chocolate brown. And as you can see, this is stitched on again with that kind of knitted brown color. Towards the back of the shoe as well on the heel tab, we do have the same kind of chocolate brown leather patch. And as you can see, we do have here the Truefall logo in this gold, which is embossed. Another one of my favorite details that I really like here is that we do have the blue knitted stitching, which does go on top of this chocolate brown leather panel. In terms of eyelets, instead of our kind of standard normal eyelet loops, we do have these D silver loops instead made of metal. Usually for our standard, Adidas shoe we have the loop eyelets however for these we have these D silver metal eyelets which definitely make the shoe look a bit more luxurious and definitely look more expensive. As I did mention, you do get given a pair of beige laces if you do want to replace the ones that come already laced up. So laced up already, we do have the same kind of baby blue color. For me, definitely, I would put the beige laces on because I think there's just a little bit too much blue going on at the top. And I think you need something to kind of separate it out to give it a little bit more character. And it obviously will really nicely match the midsole as well. On the laces as well, we do have the Wales Bonner logo at the ends, which is a really nice touch and I feel like the collaborations for me are just all about these extra details that they put into it. As for the tongue of this SL76, we do have a blue leather tongue again in that same kind of baby blue. And then we do have a chocolate brown stitched on logo of the Adidas and Wales Bonner. Inside the shoe, we do have some satin lining again in this baby blue. Absolutely love the satin look. I think it just looks so much better and also feels better. And then we do have the Adidas and Wales Bonner baby blue insole inside as well. For the midsole, we do have this off-white midsole. I definitely think that the midsole is what kind of sets this model, this silhouette apart from some of the other Adidas silhouettes. It's definitely very unique. I feel like sometimes the uppers can be very similar. Maybe not so much this one because of materials used, but in terms of the actual silhouette, excluding the materials, they do look quite similar to some of the other designs like the Sambas, but the midsole on this is definitely very unique. And then if we turn around and have a look at the outsole, we have a lot of traction on this 
this, which obviously makes good for a running shoe. In terms of sizing and comfortability, I did go for my normal size, my true to size size, which is a size seven. And in terms of lengthwise, they fit absolutely perfectly. However, if you do have wider feet, they do have a very, very narrow fit. So if you do have wider feet, I would definitely recommend going up half size because they are very snug around your foot, but they do feel nice and comfortable and they feel very light. They would make a great everyday shoe. In terms of kind of styling them and wearing them out, as they do only come in two colorways, the blue and the yellow, this is definitely the more kind of subtle color. However, it is still, you know, it is a color shoe. It's not like your standard black, white and gray. So I feel like you possibly couldn't wear them with obviously every single color but because of the kind of design and style of them I feel like you could make them work with most fits a nice pair of jeans would look absolutely beautiful in them I absolutely love the different materials in this SL76 and I do love the fact that it is a different silhouette that you know not a lot of people are wearing out so if you do want something a little bit more different I would definitely recommend having a look at the SL76 as these are a collaboration they came in 160 pounds 180 dollars which is more on the pricier side but as i said you are getting a kind of more fashion shoe rather than just a kind of standard sportswear sneaker i did mention before that they did also release some sambas on the adidas wales bono collaboration this time round, and i can't lie i tried to go for the sambas as well because some of the colorways were absolutely beautiful they did sell out first because i do think that the sambas are a more popular silhouette in general compared to these i feel like these are a little bit more quirkier that could possibly be a benefit if you are looking for something that is a bit different a bit unusual compared to your normal standard sambas at the moment these are still sitting on adidas and a few other retailers for retail price but there are sizes that are selling out and i think it's going to be one of those things that maybe in a couple weeks time they will be completely sold out as well i really enjoy this collaboration and i'm super excited for the next one even though i have no idea what it is going to be but i feel like every time they do a collaboration they always bring out a shoe that is completely different to kind of what we're usually seeing so it's definitely something to be excited about let me know in the comments below whether you guys picked up any of the sneakers this time round, or if you have any of the previous ones as well i'd be really interested to know thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video if you haven't already make sure you are subscribed to stay updated with all my latest videos and i'll see you guys in my next one